And we are good, I hope. <laughs> Live from my kitchen, it's Saturday night. And yes, welcome uh, to my uh, kitchen here on this night before Easter, folks. Uh, I think we'll wait at least a couple of minutes in order to allow uh, folks to join the chat. Um, <clears throat> Especially because it's a Saturday night and because this is an unannounced live video, I'm not going to ask anybody to interrupt their schedule. I can only say that we are here, <laughs> as promised, uh, preparing to do a lamb cake for uh, Easter tomorrow. And that means we have brought out uh, one of, um, um, well, I would say one of your favorite cast iron pieces, definitely, because people talk about the lamb mold every week when we do a uh, live video here. So here it is, folks. This is, in fact, a cast iron lamb mold. And my understanding is this is actually an unmarked Wagner mold. Um, I can only hope that uh, folks are able to see this and uh, hear this properly. Um, the last couple of times I have streamed my phone, well, I've had some difficulty, and I can only hope that that's not happening this time. Although I can see we have, uh, well, we are now up to seven people already viewing, so that is a uh, pretty good start. Uh, so far, I am not able to see any comments, at least not yet, which means now seems like as good a time as any, well, to get started, because yes, we have a lamb cake to bake, which means we actually take this mold and put it out of the way for the time being. <laughs> because we have to start putting our ingredients together. Okay, so... That means I have to unpackage a couple of these things, such as the flour. Although I have at least um, gathered, oh, yeah, great. I have gathered the ingredients together. How nice, I just tore a big hole in my <laughs> package of uh, flour here. Which means I'm definitely gonna have to pour this into a container pretty much as soon as I'm done. Otherwise, it's going to pour all over the place. All right, something always happens, doesn't it? Nonetheless, uh, this is actually based on a very simple pound cake recipe. So this really should not be difficult to do at all. The hard part, of course, will be making sure it doesn't stick in the pan. Anyway, there is one. Next comes, we're doing three cups of flour here. Level this off. Here comes two. And finally, do this one last time. There we go. And three. Flour all over the place. How nice. All right, now let's move this to the side so that it doesn't spill. You know, not that things like that have happened in my kitchen before. <laughs> you know, see, like this little bit of flour that we got on the counter, for instance. All right. Checking the recipe here. That, that means I have to open up my screensaver again. And now the next, uh, the next two parts are very simple. A teaspoon of baking powder. and half a teaspoon of salt. So, that's baking powder, right? Yes, it is, baking powder. And don't worry, I am going to whisk the dry ingredients, of course, because that is an essential uh, component. Took me a while to realize that. And half a teaspoon. This is half, yes it is, half a teaspoon. Oops, I think I've already overdone it. There we go, half a teaspoon of uh, salt. And that's pretty much it for the dry ingredients because the sugar is going to be creamed together with the wet ingredients. So that means let's just mix this together 
as best as we can. Yeah, as you can see, this part I'm doing by hand because it's easy enough. There are only three ingredients in this, which means now that that's done, I have two things to do. That is to start, um, let me see, I should probably, I have butter in the microwave. Yes, I'm going to nuke the butter in order to soften it. All right, and while that's happening, let's move these dry ingredients out of the way. And actually, before we get out the mixing bowl, one other thing, I've got five eggs to crack. Am I too far over again? Looks like it. Maybe I should, maybe I should lower my view a little bit. Well, good enough, anyway. I'm guessing you're the only one. Okay, oh good. Well, some people are in the chat. Well, thank you. It's always nice to uh, have folks here. As I said, since this is not Wednesday and since this was completely unannounced and this is a uh, Saturday night, again, I'm not expecting too many people to show up live, but thank you to anybody who does. And besides, you can always watch the replay. All right, here comes egg one, two, three. Come on, you know what? And there goes a little bit of shell, which means better take the shell to get the shell. There we go. There's funny, that's supposed to work. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, that was that wasn't too hard. It's three eggs so far. Two to go. Here comes. Number four, my egg cracking that does not seem to have improved over the years. And number five, there we go. Well, on the whole, at least the yolks are intact for whatever that's worth. Now, excuse me, you know, I have to uh, quickly rinse my, rinse my hands after cracking those eggs. So that's the hard part, which means now that we have done that, checking here, da, 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 three sticks of butter and three cups of white sugar. Okay. Uh, let me, one second, I'm counting down just about maybe another 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, there we go. So that should be enough for the butter, which means now we can start with the mixing bowl. Okay, yeah, that's definitely enough here. In fact, I should have laid, I shouldn't have laid this butter down side. Oh well, okay, here's one stick. Yeah, it's definitely softened butter, all right. Here comes two sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rinse my hands again. And at least it's definitely softened butter. Come on, there we go, that's two. And finally, three. Little by little. That's three. Okay, three sticks of butter. Cut my hands off again, put this plate away. And next, uh, three cups of white sugar. Boy, it's almost as if there's a pattern coming here, isn't there? All right, we've got the flour in this cup. So instead of a cup, I guess we're gonna have to do six half cups. So, one, 
two, three. Remember, I'm doing six of these because they're half cups. That's three, four, five. And yes, I'm using my own pound cake recipe. Here comes number six because this is another one of those recipes that I cobbled together myself and have generally liked the uh, results. Okay, three cups of that, that means, get this out of the way. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm not able to see the comments directly, I'm sorry to say, folks. Uh, well, no, I'm afraid not, so... All right, but I will uh, follow up on this a little later. Okay, put this aside because now it is time. I really do not want to put, drop that. Or this. Here are the dry ingredients again. Uh, probably would be easier, I think, to just bring it close over this way. It's going to be. Oh, I should actually I should probably lower the uh, vantage point a little bit. Anyway, let's put this in so that it doesn't go. Okay. Oh. Uh, there it is. Put this in so that it. Come on. One, two, three. All right, and the uh, heater. Put this aside, there we go. Come on. All right, this worked before. Why is it not working now? Uh, always something, there it goes. Okay, good. All right, still kind of a high view. If I bring it up, there we go. Let me see if I can actually lower this vantage point a little bit. This is what I get for doing these videos live. This means that once again, I get to kick you all on a roller coaster. That's a pretty good view. Okay, thank you for your patience because time to get started. And our first step, of course, is to cream together the butter and sugar. While we're doing that, We all, and notice, by the way, I am not uh, putting the mixer up on high. That's intentional. So next up come the eggs. And I just realized I forgot to do one important thing. Let me stop this. I said stop it. And I realized I forgot to do one important thing. And that is to zest. Um, actually, I know what I'll do. I won't waste your time. I will do that, and then I'll stop, and then I'll zest the lemon right into the bowl. How about that? Which means back where we were. Okay, back where we were. Sorry for the delay. Okay, that means now back to the eggs. Come on. One, 
two, three, four, and five. that. Now I have to stop it. I said stop it. I did it again. Take this out for a moment. And uh, from here, well, I guess I better do it from this vantage point. That means I get to break out my microplane and do some zesting. Which is, oops, take off this label. That would probably help. All right, which is now actually something I quite enjoy doing because this doesn't take very long. And fresh lemon zest is something that you all need to experience. Anybody who's done pretty much any fair amount of baking at all, and some cooking as well, is familiar with lemon zest and for a good reason. This is wonderful stuff. If I don't accidentally scrape my own finger, that is. Okay, yeah, because yes, this is going to be a lemon pound cake and there is nothing like fresh lemon zest. Especially since even these days with the price of everything going up, lemons still really aren't that expensive. And in fact, if I wanted to be even cheaper, I could try to make using limes instead and make a lime pound cake. You know, that actually sounds interesting. Because limes are even cheaper than lemons for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe it's because they use them in tequila, perhaps. All right, I'm almost done with the zest. That's good, which means now I get to do one other thing. And that would be too quickly. Cut this in half. And squeeze out about a teaspoon of lemon juice. Try not to get any of these seeds in here. That would not be a good thing, like those seeds. Oop, I think we got a seed in there. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, one seed. Okay. Fortunately, the seed seems to be a little easier to get out. I hope so. Then the, there it is. Then the eggshell. There it is. And there it goes. Okay, which means back to the mixing. All right. And that's really the hard part. Just a moment. Okay, now we get about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And one cup of buttermilk. Buttermilk always looks so appetizing. And finally, the dry ingredients.
Yeah, pound cake is one of the uh, first actual modern day cakes. That's one reason why it's so simple to make. You can see it really only requires a few ingredients. And there we go. And it also requires a lot of them. Large quantities. Mm, boy, boy, I can smell that lemon from here. All right, especially since we don't want to overmix the batter. And I did it again. Let's stop right there. Because having done that, let me do one quick check of my ingredient list and make sure I haven't forgotten anything because, you know, I tend to do that. All right, flour, baking powder, salt, butter, white sugar, eggs, lemon juice, lemon zest, vanilla extract, and buttermilk. That means we are all set here. And before this, uh, this batter sets very much, that means let's quickly move back to where we were. Because now is the part you folks have all been waiting for. comes our cast iron lamb mold, which again is an unmarked Wagner as far as I know. All right, so far so good. And especially because tomorrow is Easter and I don't want to take any chances. Where the heck did I just put it? I mean, I got it out here intentionally so that I would have it. Uh, one second, again. My apologies again, folks. I seem to have misplaced something completely obvious. Oh yeah, here it is. I knew it was pretty obvious. Like I said, be especially because tomorrow is Easter and I don't want to take any chances, I'm going to resort to chemicals and spray these pans thoroughly with baking spray. Now, if I wasn't doing this for Easter, I probably would want to try to experiment again and use the good old grease and flour the pan. However, my success rate with that has not been as high as some, and that's why I would rather not take any chances. Oh boy. <coughs> There's one. <coughs> Holy cow, that's actually caused some <coughs> fog in the kitchen. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> And now for <coughs> number two. <coughs> Will this chemical spray give me cancer? Who knows? <laughs> no, it probably won't. But <coughs> I can see why people get that fear. <coughs> Yuck. Nonetheless, Okay, and what's more, this is the side, the nose down side. Um, yes, that's right, it's the nose down side that we actually pour the batter into. Uh, the front side, that is. So, <clears throat> can't be done spraying that side, still have half a can. Yeah, I know, that's usually how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> All right, um, let me quickly um, get the, uh, take out the batter. Mm. Oh. In contrast to that spray, <coughs> this batter 
smells wonderful. Mm. Tastes pretty darn good too. <laughs> but let's get started because again, we don't want to waste our time especially because we don't want this batter to settle very much. All right, so we are supposed to take this roughly just that, and I'm hoping I haven't overdone it already. Oh yes, better remember the toothpicks. Shit. It would be just like me, and in fact, I think I've done that before. Yeah, this is a, actually, this turned out to be a pretty thick batter, but that's all right. I'm not worried about that. But yeah. Okay. A little bit here, a little bit there. Especially on the ears, come on. Maybe a little bit more. Around the ears, in fact. Whoops. <laughs> oh, where did that knife go? Here it is. Okay. All right, let's. Um, do I have actual skewers on me? That would be nice if I did. Oh, yay, I do, actually. And in fact, not only do I have them, I have plenty of them. Nice. Here's a wooden skewer. Which means this is the part where we just simply break it off. And it's still a little long. Break off a little more. Okay. Place that down. And likewise, the ears. There we go. And that's it. Which means here comes the rest of it. And that is the back side. There we go. Ah, I have carrot cake. I love carrot cake in any form. Rabbit. Oh, yes, I guess you're talking about Ken and his, uh, well, his <laughs> rep carrot cake stew. <laughs> I won't say any more because I am very familiar with uh, situations like that. The important thing is that that carrot cake stew is still edible. However, here comes one more trip over One more trip over to the oven, and in we go. All right, here we go again. One, oh, hot, damn it. Two, three, and maybe I might have goofed again. Oh. As I just realized what I should have done. Namely, don't lay that lamb mold on the rack. Use a pan. So, come on. I really do not want to spoil this. Okay, there we go. This is what we should do. Of course, I only remembered it at the last moment. However, here we go again. That was one, two, three. All right. Got it. Okay, and as usual, of course, I have my usual mishaps. Nothing too chaotic this time, thank goodness. Because now we wait. Uh, for a full 60 minutes, in fact. So that in one hour, our lamb cake will come out of the oven and we will see what happens. But there you go, folks. It's the night before Easter 
And you see how easy that was, by the way? It really wasn't that, didn't take that long, did it? You know, we just mixed together some basic ingredients and we ended up, as a matter of fact, got a whole bunch of batter left over to use too. I don't know, maybe I'll make pound cupcakes after this or something. But still, there it is. It went into the lamb mold and now it's in the oven. So now we play the waiting game. And thank you everybody who was kind enough to show up. Um, if you are watching the playback, please feel free to comment. It certainly helps the views of this video. Um, tell me what I did wrong because I'm certain I did something wrong. I always do. Other than that though, thank you everybody. Enjoy your Saturday night. I know uh, a number of folks actually go to Midnight Mass night before Easter, so you still have a couple of uh, hours for that. And anyway, this cake will be coming out of the oven in an hour as it is. Corey dubs his MIA, lock your garage and chicken coop. <laughs> all right. But thank you again for watching, folks. We will catch you all later for part two. Uh, use a ramekin for the leftover batter. Well, that's certainly possible. But I don't want to spoil it right now, so I will wait until the cake is done. But thank you once again, folks. I will catch you all later. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening.